Hey everybody, Andrew and Katie here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today, it's the next day and we're back out on the property. Uh, it's raining again, like we said, and uh, the first thing I need to do is to level this load of six inch minus so that if I can, I can get a load of a gravel brought up here. So we're gonna get this load of a gravel pro probably brought in right about here, and then I can spread it around, make it a little bit better. But it's not raining at the moment, so I gotta get this tractor work done so I can get big blue out of the rain, and then we're gonna start back in with the rebar. All right, well, I really thought that that load uh, was gonna do it, but it's gonna create too steep of a slope. So we're gonna get another load of six inch minus brought in over there. And then we're gonna be able to level that right out. We're gonna be able to just uh, go a little bit past the rock over here, which will match this dirt on this side. And then my plan is to move some of this dirt in here as well. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, just starting to rain. So we gotta get the uh, rebar started.
Oh my goodness, it's really raining right now. But there it is, guys. We've got all the 15 mil rebar in. We will have to adjust it on the sides. We'll have to uh, get the insulation correct over here and then um, get the rebar at least two inches away from it and uh, up uh, two inches from the bottom. Um, but yeah, there it is. Next thing we have to do after this is put in the six by six wire mesh. My wife Katie was out here helping me today and without her, I couldn't have got this done today. There's not a chance. So I think what I might do is uh, one day during the work week or a couple days during the work week, I'm going to come down and try to get all of the wire mesh in and see if I can get in the in-floor heating as well. And then we've got a little trip to do. Uh, and then we have one more week before I go on holidays and I'm hoping during that week that we can get the inspector in and get the okay to pour the concrete. And then when I'm on holidays, hopefully we can get the concrete poured. Yes, and if you're thinking, why are you using wood blocks? You're right, we're not allowed to use wood blocks, but this here is just to keep it off of the, uh, the vapor barrier and make sure that it's not causing any holes. And our plan is to come in and uh, with some uh, two inch thick uh, concrete slabs, uh, we're gonna replace those. So I'm gonna try to uh, find some, uh, you know, two inch thick by four by four, give or take, uh, concrete little blocks so we can replace all these wood ones. We need a hundred, no, 80 of them. We need 80 of them. So we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, well, like I say, that's gonna be it for this one. We are an Amazon affiliate. If you click any of our Amazon links down below, we'll receive a small commission if you buy something within the next 24 hours. Leave your comments down below. And if you're not a subscriber or following along, hit that subscribe button to follow along. Hit that bell notification to get a notification every time we post a video. It doesn't cost you a thing and it sure means the world to us. And until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.